What I'm going to do now is just, this is my approach uh, with my own students who are learning the blues and also slash learning, um, you know, how to do some lead guitar stuff. Um, there's a few devices uh, that I like to show and I mean, it's almost like a guitar workout. Now, what I want to do is groups of three. And this one, I, I hear this one sneak in to songs all the time. I mean, I, I had practiced it so much that, you know, I just hear it, right? I, I can just, you know, you hear it in tons of songs. So it'll be a good one for you, for you to work on too. You know, think of these things as just like, you know, things to work out. It'll make your playing better when you're, when you're jamming. I wouldn't suggest just throwing this entire exercise in when you're when you're jamming out, okay? These are things to just work on when you're practicing. Okay. Here's groups of 3. Same idea. But now I did 3. I went 3 down. So the next group, now it's not going to be right next door anymore like the group of 4. It's going to be right there. So I went one, two, three, and I started a group of three there. So the next group of three will be right there on the fifth fret. One, two, three. So I went pinky, one, two, three, then here, one, two, three. And what you're going to see with this pattern is that each group starts one scale tone up from where you're ending. So the next scale tone up from there is actually there. So. Then to here. Here it is, real slow. If you practice that, if you can pull that off with alternate picking every note, uh, let's see. That's it's amazing for your technique, all right, to, to be able to alternate through that. If you can't, it's all right. Uh, do downstrokes first. But um, when you're practicing, that's real. You're going to, you know, I mean, if you think about it, if I do a down, a down pick and I do another down pick, my hand has to come up to do another down pick. So why not hit a note on that way up to back down? I mean, it only makes, I mean, it's, it's logical that you can play twice as fast if you're alternating, okay? So here's the groups of three, one more time, really slow. All right, so I'm going to do the groups of four over an A blues, just vamp on the A blues. I'm going to do the groups of four over that, and then I'm going to do the groups of three over that, and you can hear what they sound like. Here we go. Triplet blue scale. Okay, and if you get really good at all of those things, and then you also are learning just tiny little phrases, little licks, they don't have to be hard, 
you know, really work on just trying to improvise and combine all of those ideas together and you will build an arsenal, <laughs> a cache of blues stuff. <laughs> all right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just try and throw some of those ideas in right now and you can see, um, you know, how they be can become licks, or maybe you'll hear, I'll, you know, I'm just going to, I'm going to improvise, but I'm going to try and have you hear those little devices, okay? Here we go. picking one string. Hopefully you got some uh, some little ideas out of that. I, I I'm a big believer in like concepts though. If you can if you can um, understand the concepts, then you know what that'll help you know what to work on. You know, don't just go in blind. You know, with a bunch of licks, kind of understand what's going on. You know, under try and find a way to understand the stuff that you like and and what that is. So you could call that theory. You know, some people are scared of theory, but all that really means is just what's going on in that person's head or what are their what are their devices that they're using and you know why does it sound cool over those certain things the more you understand that the more you can teach yourself how to get better too so you know i think that's a you know a good way to 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 go about it so keep working man it just takes patience too i'm telling you <laughs> there's just no way around it you got to just plug the stuff in it really is it's just you know repetition and um you know practicing the right things um, you can definitely waste a lot of time, you know, if you're not, if you don't have kind of a game plan, you know, so anyway. <laughs> 